Hi everyone. So a very a very good morning. So today uh, today our topic and discussion is on on Oracle Apps DP. Okay. So you know like we'll be starting with the very basics like uh, basics of Oracle Oracle Apps and Oracle Apps DP. Okay. So uh, let me move ahead with the with the presentation. Uh, let me go ahead about the trainer it's myself. Okay. So like uh, I have. Uh, like around five plus years of experience working as Oracle Apps DBA. Okay, so I started my career as Oracle Apps DBA, and I have been working uh, with different uh, different organization, different projects on uh, and on Oracle Apps DBA. Okay, and also I have I have experience in training the freshers and making them productive. Okay, and this is a very short note about me. Okay, let's move to the next slide. Okay, so. As we know, this is a demo session, and uh, we'll start with the basics in the demo session. Okay, like uh, I know that uh, you don't know you you must not be very much familiar or very much deep knowledge about the Oracle Apps DBA or Oracle database. Okay, so I'll just uh, so that is the reason I want that uh, we have we have a demo on the very basics. Okay, we'll start with the very basics, and then we'll move. Move forward, okay. Okay, so <clears throat> what is ERP? The very first question is ERP, okay. So, what so okay, let me let me come to the ground, okay. So, <clears throat> Oracle Apps DBA is the role, okay, is the role for is a particular role, okay, and this role is in the ERP, okay. Okay, this Oracle is Oracle e business suit is one of the ERPs in the market, okay. So, let me go here. Okay, so what is ERP? Okay, let us first understand what is ERP. As the full form say, says, it's uh, enterprise resource planning. Okay, oh, it's the full form. Okay, so from the word, from the words of the ERP, enterprise. What do we, what do we mean by an enterprise? Okay, enterprise is an organization. Okay, maybe a big, small. Okay, mostly it's a mid size or big. Okay, a resource. Okay, what are the re what do you mean by resource? Okay, a resource means you can say what how how does a enterprise run okay using the resources maybe it, it it can be the person it can be the it can be the different modules different objects okay so that's the resource okay and planning planning we know it's a planning so it's a planning software basically uh, basically whatever erp it is whatever erp we talk about or whatever erp we heard here okay so that is that is a business planning software okay so there are different uh, categories of business planning softwares available in the market uh, people or the organization choose those erps or softwares based on their requirement okay <clears throat> okay so it's a business management software organization used to manage day to day business activities such as accounting procurement project management risk management compliance supply chain operations and many others okay so you know like in an organization we have we have many different activities if if the organization is is a bigger one it has more more activities more modules you can say okay such as there is there is module of finance okay where all the we have all the accounting things going we have all the accounting things invoices bill management every everything in that department you can in the layman terms you can tell it as a department okay and there is then project management the whole management of the project okay then there is a risk management there is in a in a in an organization especially when it's a big organization and it has data data concerns okay so they have a risk management team okay they have compliance to follow the rules and everything there is supply chain operation how they operate their unit okay so different different modules there are different modules different departments okay you know so all these departments are connected and operated using the software using the erp software okay so it's it makes the life it makes life and it makes the organization more more you know organized uh, a company more organized and more easy to op op in the market for a small scale business person okay like people who are who uh, whose business are small or they have a 
less modules less uh, nowadays there are, there there are many other uh, small softwares uh, there are out like people are using there are there are even our free mobile erp softwares okay so people who don't want to spend initially on erp they use that okay and uh, okay so now so other examples are sap okay it's also a, it's also a very a big uh, erp oracle ebs salesforce these are the examples of the erps okay so let me tell you that oracle e business suite okay the erp that we gonna talk about uh, in all our sessions and upon which which our role oracle apps dba is based okay so it's oracle ebs it stands for oracle e business suite okay so it has a very big market okay worldwide it covers a very big market it has like a, uh, the oracle ebs and sap okay they cover they cover large large uh, you know large scale clients large scale customers uh, they cover and the larger organizations with million and billions of turnovers they use this erps oracle and sap okay mostly they use these okay i'm i'll not tell that <clears throat> they only use this one but yeah these are the most commonly used and widely used i'll say erps okay so now let's go ahead with the next slide okay yeah so you know in the previous slide we saw something you you must have heard me telling something about the modules okay so what what exactly this modules are erp modules are okay so suppose uh, let, let 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 us talk in layman language okay because <laughs> that is more understandable right okay so uh, human resource okay there are different there, there are different departments as i told okay in a company there is a human resource department okay to manage uh, you know to manage people and uh, here what workforce they have like uh, their salaries everything that's a human resource a human resource department okay there's a planning department there's a planning department which is uh, used to plan business you know and plan uh, all the business technical things everything there's an inventory management okay there's 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 some this uh, there's, there's a module okay in which uh, the inventory okay the stock management is done how much what stock we have okay what uh, after the after we have we have sold some some number of stock how much is left uh, how much is coming in how much is going out okay so this is the inventory management okay there is uh, there is reporting this you can tell is add then uh, you can tell as analysis department okay there is a customer relationship management department okay which uh, which uh, the, this department of this module particularly interacts with the customer and uh, uh, like you know understands the requirement and uh, talk with them negotiate okay so this is a customer uh, relationship management okay next is the sales and marketing so this this department as it's a common uh, term sales and marketing they take care of the sales and the marketing okay then comes of finance and accounting as i told you sometime back that uh, this is the finance department okay like okay like uh, uh, all about money okay all about money invoices those all things are covered in this this one okay and then is a the production like uh, it's a the module where all the all the production things happen like uh, the overall production management happens over here okay so these are uh, different modules of erp okay and uh, okay. so these are the different modules okay and erp plays role here where it connects one module to another okay Uh, it connects because everything is dependent right like human resources human resources are dependent on finance finance is dependent upon sales and marketing sales and marketing are dependent on inventory okay? so all all must be all all must be connected right so okay so all all must have a connection with them right so this is where the erp software or business management software comes in and they integrate all of these modules and provide a link between all of them and make them easy to operate okay so we are done with the erp okay hope you got a you know a basic understanding about erp and you can find more uh, like if you if you make a if you do a google you'll find more about erps okay i will not go very much deep into this because this is not our area of concern area of to be to be discuss about this is just the introduction of what we'll be talking okay 
okay so okay so now erp uh, we uh, we have discussed erp now we'll uh, will not discuss much about erp as a whole or or different erps now we'll jump into the our erp okay what what erp we are working okay so that is oracle applications okay so we'll just a little bit about the oracle application or the e business suit you can say okay so okay so you know the history doesn't matter right but still we should know the history of of the application or of the organization that we are working in right so okay so so oracle initially launched its application suit with financial software in late 80s okay so if you see the graph it's i know it's small if you see this graph here it started its operation uh, in 1987 okay so that that is when the oracle application started and that time it started only with the financial software or you can say it only had the financial module in it okay so going ahead with the time like it's uh, it's now 2022 right so going ahead with the time it has it has covered many modules okay it has all the models uh, with it it has integrated all the modules so you can say supply chain uh, rtr order to cash inventory management scm so everything it has now okay so it has it has it's a complete business solution now okay so okay one more thing uh, oracle erp okay oracle e business suit ebs okay you will also you will also hear you will also hear people telling you about or you can uh, here just let me note it down over here ebs okay so this all are this all are same just you you don't get confused that is that is the reason i have noted down over here e business suit ebs or a collapse all are this all are the same technology okay okay so this are this is a little a bit history about oracle application here also will not discuss much about the history okay if you want to know if you are keen to learn you can you'll find a lot of things and you can learn okay this is not a technology just this is just a knowledge which you can also search and learn okay so now let's move to the what what are the different roles here in the oracle applications okay so oracle application is a is a software okay that you are aware about yeah, ebs or application this is a software okay so there are different teams actually which work work in the in the you know in the application there's a different teams different you know a department that works okay that works to make it happen or works to make it running okay so num number one team is the functional team okay so as the word specify functional okay okay so let me give you an example okay. there's a garment shop okay abc garment shop okay so they have they have taken the license of oracle e business suit okay so at par at their site in the in the garment showroom they have the business executives or you can say there there are the business people not knowing much about the technical things okay they don't aware they are not aware about the technical things they are more into the business like they know like uh, what how to how to create an invoice what taxes what uh, what are the taxes how much they have in, in inventory they have the basic knowledge of all these things okay so now to uh, and okay now we are we are supporting them okay they have taken the license of oracle e business suit and now our company is giving them the support or they are, our company is developing developing the e business suit for them okay like see if if they buy the license okay so in so initially what happens is we have to integrate the ebs okay we have to in, integrate the ebs and bring uh, bring the entire system the entire business into the e business suit or the oracle applications okay so that is the development phase okay there is a development phase of their business or their the erp coming into the oracle ebs okay that time okay so let's talk about that time the development phase okay that time also like we need to we need the, we need to interact with the you know the the business people of the garment shop maybe the owners they, they can be the owners or they can be the business executives of the of the organization okay so for that okay for that like we should have the people who are on the same boat okay they have the they have the same knowledge we we don't need technical people or uh, to interact with them we we need the people who are more on the functional side or more they have more business knowledge okay so these are the functional people okay these are the functional people who will uh, who will understand the requirement basically what is the business requirement they will understand the business requirement and accordingly they will integrate their business into oracle applications okay so in functional also 
in uh, functional team also we have different as as per model we have different uh, uh, teams which is further divided like there can be a rtrt rtr team uh, which is the which is on the finance track okay the, this team looks after the finance uh, finance module okay there can be an inventory team okay which looks after the inventory inventory management there can be a otc team which looks after the oracle to cash then can be a supply chain management this, this further depend on like how much what what all modules license the client has taken okay the garment shop what all license they have taken it may be that they do they don't require a uh, human resource okay because everything costs right like uh, uh, like different modules have different cost okay we, they'll have to pay the uh, price according to the cost okay so if they, if they don't require human resource they'll not they'll not buy the license for human resource okay so yeah so i i think you must have got you must have understand the role of a functional guy okay so it's more of a business guy who understand the requirement of the client on the uh, on the business perspective and now they they also have some technical knowledge okay so that they can impart the technical knowledge to the uh, they can uh, technically they can talk or they can make them understand on technical terms to the technical people or the developer okay so technical or the developer okay now let's discuss who are these people so normal it's a it's a normal thing they they are you can say they are more into coding okay they develop there are we have to develop the client business of the client right we have to make change there are some custom things also which uh, which client wants from us okay so these are the people who will develop it technically okay working with the functional people okay <clears throat> now comes database administrator okay so yes this is our area of interest okay this is which this, these are the people who we are okay database administrator so you know like you must be on a, on the layman uh, terms you must be knowing about the server okay what is a server okay server is a place where our database or application is hosted okay so here comes the role of a database administrator who who take who takes care of the data datas in the database the security and uh, who is responsible for the working of the entire system okay me the entire application okay the database administrator is responsible okay so now let's discuss more about the database administrator okay so yeah so yeah dba database administrator or we can say dba dba is a is responsible for organization integrity and management of company's data as we say database administrator what we mean by administrator the person who who maintains okay or who is a admin admin in the sense what like manager you can tell uh, in the layman term you can tell manager or who is who who is responsible okay who is you know uh, accountable for the data okay so he is the admin database administrator so it's it, the database administrator is responsible for organization okay the organization of data how the data is stored in our database okay integrity okay how the what is the status of the data how the data you know data interacts with different modules the management of data how to manage data so that it is safe and secure okay the principal objective of the dba is to ensure that authenticated users have access to the data they need when they need it okay so you know like uh, dba altogether plays a different role than the functional or the technical technical of people you know they have they have more authority they have more more uh, you know power you can say not not the power i'll say they have more a role to play like uh, they know more about the importance the of data who sh- who can who can uh, read a particular information okay in a database we have a lot of things okay so a database administrator have access to everything okay and uh, the database administrator take care like who can access that data okay they have the knowledge that who can yeah this person this is a person yeah this person can access this data okay this person don't do not need to access this 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 particular data this particular object or tables whatever it is okay so 
they they have much deep knowledge about this okay uh, db has excellent problem solving abilities a uh, uh, high level of expertise in the relevant databases and related technologies okay and he, uh, who knows how to com communicate effectively with the range of techies and non techies techies alike okay. so yes uh, like uh, well, as far as database administrator is concerned he or she should have a good problem solving ability okay like it's it's a daily life of a db okay to deal with the problems to deal with the errors okay like uh, uh, some 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 technical people got some system error so we are the people we are the people who who will look into it who will who will look why why one is getting the error okay why uh, so suppose the the server is the application okay let's talk about the application is working slow it's not working as it should work okay so they'll they'll come to us they'll come to us telling that why why the why the system is slow or why the application is slow we need to check on the back end side like why it is slow what server what server what is the problem in the server okay we have to check different logs on the back end side we have different logs okay like what is running in the system we have to check what there there are many services running okay we have to check what or oh, which services is is there any issue in this in, in the particular service okay so this is uh, overall about the database administrator okay so let's discuss a little more about okay let me give you so basically task so task is of installation okay as i told you the about the abc garment shop so first first things first when 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 they take the software okay they decide to move to oracle applications abc garments okay so first thing that comes after all the contract and everything is the installation okay we have to install the oracle e business suite on their system okay so here this is done by the oracle dbs okay the very first thing the first role is played by us maintenance okay this is we have to maintain the entire database application okay specialized data handling database backup and recovery yes this is this is also very important and the key duty of a dba to maintain the database backup and recovery going ahead we'll talk deeper into what what is database backup like how why we need backup how we take the backup okay and what is database recovery not now we'll talk in the further sessions okay so uh, uh, a little bit, bit background about about the education uh, educational thing okay this is just one needs a bachelor degree in it or computer science okay oracle and if we have the certification of uh, of oracle database it's a bonus okay okay some skills that we need a uh, design testing okay command over sql and plsql yes so the you know the coding language that that is used over here is sql okay structured query language and the pl sql and pl sql okay so we should have we don't need to write code code or anything the database administrator are not entitled to write a code or anything but yes we should have a knowledge of sql and of some command over sql okay because suppose i'll give an example okay there is there is a developer okay they have written a piece of code and then they they want this code to be you know migrate or you can see implement they want this code to implement in the system okay so we should be knowing like what this code will be doing okay not exactly like uh, in in beats we don't want to know what this code will be doing but which what is the table okay you know that there are different tables in the in the database where all the data are stored when we talk about database uh, we talk about the relational database oracle uh, uses a relational database management system okay so all the tables all the all the data are here in different tables okay so we should be knowing like what is the table and uh, what what they are doing are they are they uh, deleting some records are they inserting records are they are they updating uh, the records okay so we should have a little a little command over the sql okay now now what the command line okay what the uh, like as i told we we have to work on the back end right so unix linux we should have a knowledge about the command line this is also very important so this is the uh, normal salary that uh, that person gets okay uh, dba gets a junior who is starting gets around 80000 dollar usd per annum okay so i have uh, like uh, i have just uh, mentioned in the global uh as a global uh this global globally in the dollars okay this will vary from country to country and depending on different factors okay this is just for the basic knowledge okay 
so now let's discuss about what does dbs perform okay so you know when we when i talk about this okay there are many things and terms that you will not understand right now but yes these are the things and terms that we are going to discuss and this these are things you are going to learn okay because these are these are the tasks these are the activities that are dbs perform okay so okay, let's have a quick over uh, review on it okay so install patch maintain and monitor oracle database okay so as i told you we have to install the database we have to maintain it okay we have to maintain like uh, nothing is going wrong not there are high, high there are not high memory consumptions okay we have to monitor that yes everything is going fine in the database okay you know you know a db is db is responsible for the smooth running of the oracle database okay? if anything goes wrong like we have to immediately immediately dive in and uh, check what is going wrong what what can be done okay so yeah okay so let me let me tell you one more thing one more thing like as you are going to start your career with oracle dbas okay or you can say dbas okay so these are very high availability jobs okay like you need to be uh, if any issue comes in like suppose server is not the application is not working it's down okay so what so client business is down right they are not able to do the business they they have they have all their all the all the you know suppose i take the example of the garment they have all the garments ready and it's the truck is loaded and they are about to leave the system is down they will not be able to dispatch their uh, stock right because they cannot update in the system they cannot take out the invoice right so there first we need the, a dba okay it's a very high availability job when there is a problem there is a problem and we have to dive in okay? it's a very we have to take care of many things okay we have to make a mind pool we at the same time we have to find a solution so that uh, things are back to track as soon as possible okay. so a uh, basic thing about the dbs and okay now create maintain sql prl sql queries and shell scripting okay as i told you there may be instances where we need to write the sql not every time not every day yeah but yes and it is good to have the sql sql knowledge and some coding knowledge so that we can write the sql statements and analyze also and shell scripts so uh, this is this is also this is a uh, the shell scripts this is a very important thing a uh, dba should know okay uh, we will we'll discuss this more uh, in and going ahead okay in the in the particular session we'll we'll discuss about the shell shell scripting monitor and verify backups and perform perform ad hoc backups okay so we need to take the backup of the database suppose anything goes wrong system goes down okay everything we don't have the we don't we don't uh, have the system right now okay so we should have a backup okay as in general terms you 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 know you your your phone yeah, you talk about the smartphone right so every day there is a you can uh, every day we our phone is getting backed up at a particular time okay why we why we are doing that suppose we lost our phone okay phone is broken right so we can we have the passwords we have the ids right and we can we can uh, from a div different device we can at least access the data or we if you buy a new phone we can uh, we can uh, restore our data provided it is backed up right so that is a need, that is a reason backups are very important okay so provide maintenance support for the database systems there are some regular activities where uh, which we need to take care okay which we need to take care which we need to work uh, to provide the maintenance okay so some other other tasks are data extraction transformation loading perform routine security and authentication measures so yes security is also a very very you know very very important role of a dba okay secure taking care of the security of the database or the systems database tuning troubleshooting okay this is also a like day to day activity day to day role of a database administrator troubleshooting as we know what troubleshoot means to fix errors in the simple language okay so dba means errors okay we are most we are morely associated with errors okay so when you hear about errors okay don't don't fear okay don't fear or don't think that uh, error has come so this is the life of a dba if there is a error there is a dba okay so we work with errors to solve them okay we work to solve errors database tuning we have to make sure our database is tuned and you know working properly and with the system okay. so 
so today we have moved, we have discussed very basic things about the erp what is erp what are different roles okay what are different erps what are different roles what is oracle applications okay then different roles in oracle applications what is database administrator what oracle dbs do okay so i hope you have got a glitch of you know a glimpse of sorry you have got a glimpse of all this all the this basic things and on the next on our next session we'll dive into or more into the oracle apps dba or oracle application dba's role and what they have to do what is their task what they have to do and more into technical things today we did not discuss much about technical we did not went much into technical but yeah from the next time onwards next session onwards we'll be discussing more on the technical uh, technical side okay so next uh, next we'll start with the oracle e business suite architecture okay so this is what we are going to discuss the architecture of the oracle e business suite hope you hope you uh, got a uh, got some things cleared and some basics uh, basic knowledge about the e business suite and okay have a good day see you all on the next session have a great day bye bye